All right, let's do this. Uh, Clover right off the back. Broom, that's good. Give me a pan. I might as well buy you. Give me a pan. Nice. Reserve the piggy. Reserve the space. Not a horrible round, honestly. We got our shovel. Got a nice little wooden buckler on sale. Could turn that into a spike shield. I think it's worth it, honestly. Just because we got the wooden buckler on sale, we might as well turn into a spike shield. And we win the first round, which is great. Very, very great. What is that? Eight. We don't have enough for everything. It takes priority here. We can get a lucky pig. We also need space in general. So I say we get the lucky pig, um, and then we probably just buy this. Get the whetstone next round. I think that's the better play. Because we're going to need that whetstone for the damage. Otherwise, we suck. So, yeah. We probably lost this one. Spike shields, extra health. They got banana for stamina. Yeah. That's an L. That's fine, though. That's fine. Oh, wow. He came you a pig. That's nutty. Let's get both of those. And you roll for more space. Like it. Got another pig. Might as well get the Walrus Tusk, too. Um, so let's put you at the top so we get a little situation like that. Combine both of you. I don't want to get the hero sword because it's less DPS. So instead, what we're going to do is hope and pray that the uh, shovel gives us a coal to turn into a torch. Would it be more DPS for us? All right. So you went with a lot of gems. We should win this. Their DPS is lacking. Even with all those gems and everything. So yeah. <laughs> that was an easy one. Good game. Another freaking pig. Okay, so let's get you to turn you there. We got seven. Buy both of those. Roll. Space is good. I could also go for a cap. I think a cap would be good too. It's going to take all our money and then some. Um, but we can sell this chip sapphire for at least one extra money. I should make it even at least. Zerker. What a hero sword. An axe. Ah, oh, damn. Almost. That four region he had really took a toll on us. Got that for sell for one. Oh, I forgot we have a bunch of pigs, so we get money left over. I'm tripping. I was like, we're not going to have enough. Yes, we will. Let's turn it into a torch. 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 I want a torch. There we go. Um, Can I either put the pig on the heroes or the on the cap? I think we keep it like that, actually. I'll just do that. Hopefully, we can get another clover. Nope. Got a stone, though. I'll take the stone. Clover. Nice. Um, I think we just stick with that. And then I'll be good. Just a dagger? Wow, okay. I say we win this. Pretty early for a cap. It is, but I'm kind of going by the rule. If you see the cap, you always buy the cap, no matter how early it is. Seed cap, buy cap. I think that's like an unhidden rule in this game. I do need the leather armor, but we have no space at all. So I say we pass on that. I could buy a fanny pack, but I kind of just want to buy big space, honestly. I'll pass on that too. Unless it's on sale, then I get it. They got that on sale as well, so it's a good thing we kind of rolled there. Because we got that guy on sale, which is great. Do that. Don't really need to care, but if we can fit it, then we might as well keep it, right? Um, let's move you over by one, so we can turn that into a luck. And then we'll just fill this with money. Don't really have space for this, so I say we just sell it. Likewise, we could get rid of both of the stones for it, but eh, fuck it. I'm just sell it. Um... <clears throat> and we can pretty much just keep this entire situation how it is. We have enough money to buy you, so might as well buy you. Just so we can buy you. Give our shop a little bit more space for rerolls and stuff like that. Okay. Sounds like time for miracles. That's exactly where I got it from. <laughs> I was watching his stream one time. And he was just like, see cap by cap. I was like, oh, okay. Bet. I'm going to do the same thing. Ever since that day, see cap by cap. Our DPS was sucky. Fortunately. Roll. Get you roll. If I can get me a ripshaw blade, that'd be great. Roll, roll. Got you. Um, we could also get this shield of Valor. I say that's what we'll do. Just because we got a lot of money left over, don't want to roll again. So might as well just get that shield. Um, damn. I really do want to put you in here. I feel like we should, but you know, I don't I don't know. I don't really want to ruin our money situation caps got to go in there too i say we just put cap in there get another upgrade for our lucky pig just roll with that so tempted to buy that but i'm i, I kind of want to push my luck a little bit here also with the pigs instead of uh three stacking top horizontally isn't it better to top 
to have two top. Yeah, that is that is better. Actually, I should have done that. But man, did we lose? Did we lose? Oh, 18 critical at the end. Nice. Burrow keeper. Ripshaw. Stone skin potion. Another stone skin plus the healing herb. All right. Can also buy this fanny pack. Because we still don't have space. Which is a shame. I could just sell the torch plus the wet stones at this point, though. Which is another option. I think we take that option, actually. Okay, well. I think this would have been a better option. We can, we can keep the wet stones, honestly. I just want to buy both of those. So, yeah. It was, it was probably... Well, no, I wouldn't have enough gold if I didn't sell that wet stone anyway, so. Yeah. Okay, so. You go there. We can put both of the potions on the Shield of Valor. That can go there. Um, we'll put this up here to turn it into a Moon Shield. Um, then again, we also need the Leather Armor on the Shield of Valor as well. So... That's not what I really want to do, honestly. Um... Can move this down by one? do that that would essentially work you can also do this no that wouldn't work well wait yeah that works okay kinda ish that's gonna be janky but I want to upgrade these okay I want to upgrade those right we also need the clover in there and now we're out of space so kind of fucked Whoops. Man. We also gotta upgrade you to a moon shield. Could do this. Probably gonna lose this next round. Could do that. It's a lot of upgrades though. With like no space. We've got like no freaking space at all. And we're going against a dagger build. Unless our survivability just helps us out here, but. No. Yeah, his DPS is just way too good. And ours is just way too shitty. Boom. But on the bright side, we did get our fencing fencing rapier. So that's a good thing. Another pig. Damn. I always love getting the pigs whenever I see them. Maybe we have too many pigs now. <laughs> Um, hmm. Decisions, decisions. Okay. I think that was the best thing I could have done. We got money, we got space, so. I think that was the best thing I could have done. I think so. T4M was playing with like eight picks, eh? Really? That's what inspired me to play nonsense. Reaper builds has been super fun. <laughs> he loves his pigs, I swear. I don't blame him though. Let's put you there. Um, I might just back this. Well, I feel like that would be better. But I also want to put a pig on this cap somehow. While also having it affect the shield like this. Something. Could put that work. This'll work. Yeah. Okay, so that works. And then we can upgrade a pig. Another pig in. We're just lacking on space like crazy right now, unfortunately. That's what we really need. But at least we increase our DPS, which is great, so. That's a good thing. But now we need space, and like, a lot of it. Come on. That's all I get for space? That's it? I gotta take it. Gotta take it. 
Okay, so let's move you up there. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just do that. Get another upgrade in. We'll do something like this. A dagger build with a little bit of stunnage. We should, our survivability should be able to carry us here, yeah? Okay, nice. Getting that on sale is interesting. I'm gonna get it for now. I'll probably end up getting rid of it though. More than likely. Jesus, freakity freak. Where's the space? Okay, uh. I gotta use it though, like. Um, two, four, six, eight. Um, um, okay, <sighs> I could sell this guy, but hmm, it's going to help me live. Maybe we just keep it like this. Get rid of this pig just for extra armor. And it's a better play. As much as I don't want to, I'd rather use all the items I have, but we don't have space. Looks like we're gonna win this. Our armor is just too great. Which is helping us so much. All right, let's get you more space. Okay. Now, even more space. You know what? I'm going to take it. Just so I don't have to worry about effing space anymore. Which would be great. I can also go ahead and turn you into a stone helmet. Since we have this. I need at least three of these at all times. Um, I believe my math is correct. So, I'm just going to go ahead and turn you this up there actually that way can do this and do this and do that nice okay <clears throat> so you shouldn't be getting critted on at all <laughs> this is a strong build what's our crit prevention 20 percent yeah pretty much 40 percent um, chance for being stunned and critted on, so that's good. We got a lot more armor, but they got unhealing, so they heal better. Which means their survivability is better, so they win. Their healing is just way too good. Alright, let's... Boom. I'm gonna pass on that space. I'm gonna get you. And I'm also gonna pick up this orb. I need a DJ lamp. We'll get that next round. So you have to touch the moon shield. Do that. Clover can go there. We don't get enough clovers to proc you, right? We need 22, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, 18. So next round, we should be able to proc you. But we're also getting the gin, which means we probably won't be able to. And we're going to get into food build, which is unfortunate. I mean, we might be able to win, actually. Uh, that was cutting it close, but we, we, we came in on top there. <clears throat> Wasn't able to get the 30 mana, though. From all that armor. The proc. Which means we probably need to get another stone skin potion. Or we just gotta upgrade this stone skin potion. Because we're two mana off, so. Oh, wow. We actually got one. Okay. So we should be able to proc you now. I'm also going to get the acorn collars so we can crit. 
All right, that was not a bad shop, actually. That was a really good shop. So let's do that. Um, we're gonna mess this up just a little bit, but at least we'll be able to insta-proc mana orb now, which that would be great. Whoops. Well, maybe, I don't know. Well, because we also got the gin, right? So. Uh, it's it's in the air which one is actually going to proc. It's either going to be the gin or the mana orb. I'm not really sure which one, but. I guess either one would be good. I'd prefer it to be the mana orb first and then the gin second, just so we can get the extra buffs. <clears throat> but whichever one it is, I guess it'll be fine. This really doesn't even have to go here. I mean, it could really just go here. And I don't want to upgrade that, actually. Right? No, 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 I don't. I don't. Because the, the the potions give me more armor than this. And we already got enough crit chance and stuff, so. Or crit resist and everything, so. Yeah, don't really care to upgrade that. We do need more space though to, to proc the clover. Because we got a lot of clovers right now. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. If we have more space, we'd be able to proc the orb. Or proc the clover at least. So we definitely need more space. <clears throat> definitely. Oh, we could have the orb trigger to rape here. That is true, but it is to proc there, so it's fine. Plus, this also proc. You see how much damage we're doing at the beginning of the game? But they just had to have 70% chance to hit our health directly. We could have lost that. But you see what I'm trying to do, right? You see the potential? You see the freaking potential? Right? You get enough mana. Boom. Orb instaprocs. That's going to help out all of your buffs. Just in case you don't have enough buffs for the Dejan Lamp. Dejan Lamp instaprocs. You start doing 100 critical out the gate. Right? And that's not even counting the Mega Clover proccing too. We got to get this to proc though. So the plan... Is to get both of these to proc before the gin procs. And we kind of got lucky there. Because the orb proc before the gin, I believe. Unless it was the other way around. Actually, maybe it was the other way around. Let's see. Yeah, I think the gin proc. Yeah, because the gin reached a threshold before the orb did. Right here, the gin reached its threshold. And we still don't have 30 mana. So it proc used up a little bit of mana. But we still ended up gaining even more from all the, the armor and stuff to make it proc, which is great. It's actually really, really good. So, yeah. Really, 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 really good. 440 of her armor is insane, though. Yeah, very insane. That's pretty much all our survivability, and we just rely on um all the other items for the DPS, I guess. That makes sense. This is kind of interesting, but it's a nine money. Not really trying to do that, especially without a bag. So a second DJ lamp. Nah, I say we just get space now and we just fill it all up with clovers. Um, potentially upgrade these if we get the stones. And that's really about it. I mean, that's really about it. I mean, this could go down here. Doesn't hurt. Um, the only problem now, honestly, is the fact that we don't really start the game off with 20 clovers. I mean, we kind of do. We'll see at the end of this battle. We're going to look at the log, but I believe that the... Ooh, an OG Dark Saber build. This is like... This is like Reaper Dark Saber versus Ranger Dark Saber. Because we both start with an absurd amount of damage. But I think we just... I think we're just better. I think we're just better. But the problem with this build, right? Yeah, it's yeah, that's pretty consistent, actually. We need a lot of pigs. Because the... The gin uses up 7 clovers. So realistically, what we need to do is have 27 clovers at the start of the game. And the clovers from the lucky pigs gets counted first, right? All that gets counted first. So you got 10, right? Um, problem is, 
the degen lamp reaches its threshold first and it uses up seven of those clovers and then all the rogue lucky clovers start coming into the play right which can be seen as a problem depending because i'd rather have the mega clover proc first versus having the dj lamp proc first just for the extra buffs because the buffs that you gain from the clover can just be used for the dj lamp anyways but if the dj lamp uses up your seven clovers and your short clovers for just the proc then that's like worse it's better to have this proc so you can get all those buffs and then all those buffs can just go into the DJ lamp because it's going to feed it anyways. Right. But I mean, we're at 17 right now, which we have plenty of space to just put three more clovers in. The only problem is that you're just going to have to hope that this rapier doesn't use up your clovers before this procs, which usually this is going to proc at the beginning of the match anyway. So you should be fine, honestly, hopefully. Since we're not upgrading this into a stone skin potion, we might as well just upgrade it into a uh, cap of discomfort. Um, got a stone, so we could use that to upgrade the stone skin potions. If that happens. And we kind of just need one more slot. I'm just going to roll for space here, honestly. I don't... We get enough money. <laughs> Alright. One, one, two, three. So now we should start with 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So we're still kind of relying on that orb. This orb has to give us three more clovers, hopefully. But we can fill these two slots with clovers, so that'll help. Um, but we'll have to see. <clears throat> Maybe uh, rebuying DJ Lent fixes it similar to Phoenix slash Dark. Rebuying it? Wait, you can you can change. You can change um, what gets procced first if you just rebuy the item. Is that really how that works? You just had to come back to life two times, didn't you? And put fucking 11 blind on me. And just have me miss. It's a good thing I have at least five clovers left, but you're going to use them. Accuracy is 15%. Jesus Christ. All right, I just need one nice bit critical. All right, there we go. That's how it works for a dark lamp, really? Wow, I didn't I actually didn't know that. I actually didn't know that. So clovers got used, but you guys seen that we didn't get enough mana there for the for the uh the orb to proc. It seemed. Yeah, we ended up getting twenty five somehow. Don't know how we got enough last time, but this time we only got twenty five. That's a little weird. This is probably why that chance to nullify buffs. So that's why we got a lower amount of mana. We still ended up being able to have it proc though, which is good. But it was risky. It was very risky. Because uh, if you give the if you give the rape your time to start using up your clovers, then it, this will never proc. That's why you have to get it to proc at the beginning of the game. But luckily, we're fine. But I don't think it proc. Yeah, it did, wait, did it proc? The orb proc, but I don't think the, yeah, the DJ lamp didn't proc because of the, the pierce, it seems. We got up to six, then we got the eight. Oh, no, it did proc. Okay, never mind. I'm tripping. It did proc. We got enough buffs for it to proc, which is great. So the only thing we were waiting on realistically was just the mana orb, but we didn't get enough clovers for the mega clover. How many clovers did we have at the beginning? Ten. So we got the ten and then this used up seven. So we got the 18, it seemed. Two off, but probably just because of the cap of discomforts, more than likely. More than likely. Hey, I'm a... <clears throat> What'd you say, Loco? <laughs> Why am I getting banned? What did I ever do? I'm a big fan of your work. Would you like to sub to my hive mind of bots and get a failure in just five days? Hell yeah. Sign me up. So basically, if you get the Phoenix, pre-round eight... So if you get the Phoenix before round eight and then grab Dark Lamp, you want to rebuy Phoenix so you don't lose all your hearts on your first revive. Interesting. Interesting. So when you die, instead of the instead of the Phoenix proccing first, the Dark Lamp will proc first. 
and then the Phoenix proc second. That's essentially how that works, right? That's pretty interesting. Exactly. Wow. It might work similarly. So whatever you buy last is what's going to proc last. Okay, that's pretty interesting. I don't know. I mean, I understand how that applies, but... I guess... Yeah, the lamp. Well, the thing is, these have different, like, thresholds. That's the thing. So I can easily have a threshold for the Dijon lamp, but not have the threshold for the Mega Clover. Since it counts the Lucky Pigs first, and then... By the time the Lucky Pigs are counted, and I have the mana and armor and everything, I still don't have the 20 Clovers for the Mega Clover to proc. Because these Clovers haven't been counted yet. And since these Clovers haven't been counted yet, the Jin just procs. And then after the Jin procs, the Clovers get counted. These over here. And then if I have like 20, then um, this procs. So that's the only problem. But other than that, I completely... I think that's dope, honestly. I completely understand that. Yeah, this build is pretty much complete. I mean, there's not really much I can buy or sell. Because I need all the space I can get for the clovers. The only thing I could do now is more than likely just upgrade the stone skin potions. But that's going to take a whole nother round plus space. And I guess the only thing else that I could probably risk is the cap of discomfort for space. But with it being maxed out like this, I kind of just don't want to do that. Other than that, this build is damn near perfect. I mean... We're getting an instant proccing mana orb, mega clover, plus the degen lamp, doing 100 plus damage off the gate on crit, plus all the buffs. We have to see a game where the mega clover actually procs, so, so hopefully this will be that game. They also don't have any cap of discomforts, which is good for us. Boom. Oh yeah, everything proc right there. Look at all the look at all the numbers. Look at all the numbers. Everything procced. Every single thing procced right there. Jesus Christ. So we got the luck from the from the uh, from the pigs, armor and everything, spikes and everything. DJ and lamp procs here. Um, getting more luck. Um, more, 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 more. Mega clover procs here, and then mana orb procs there. So we're left with a shit ton of buffs, twelve empowerment. This thing is doing fifty damage per second, and we have just a shit ton of buffs at the end. Doing 100 plus damage off the gate on crit. It's a beautiful build. <laughs> it's a damn beautiful build. Yeah. It's a damn beautiful build. How fast was that? Five seconds. A Jesus Christ. Yeah, this build has been perfected. I, I have perfected this build. But it is beautiful. That is true. It doesn't fully set up. <laughs> Until round 17, though. Because it's just, you need so many clovers. That's it. You need clovers because of the DJ lamp and because of the mega clover. As long as you get both, all three of these to proc at the same time, your build's pretty much complete. On the bright side, in the mid game, you're able to get this to proc if you just get the shield plus, you know, all this situation. You still won't have enough for this or this, but you only need 777 seven for this. So, in the mid game, you could potentially get the to proc so you can survive in the mid game and then you pretty much just focus on getting those two to proc and then that's it but yeah i did there's nothing i can buy here right realistically like i can't do any more combinations so what items would you realistically buy maybe more protective purses and just replace them with the stamina pouches because we really we don't need stamina we're at a point seven so we don't really need stamina um so protective purses for more survivability. This isn't an all fanny pack already, so that's not gonna help. Buying fanny packs won't help. The only thing I can think of is more acorn collars, but that means less slots for the lucky clovers. That's really about it. Maybe a flute, how else would uh how else could you make it all work faster? It wouldn't be instant, but it could make you four clovers with three slots. That's the problem, it has to be instant. It's got to be instant. If it's not instant, then it won't work because if you if you give time for the rapier to attack, it's going to use your clovers. And if it uses your clovers, then that's less clovers for your mega clover to use. Right? Because if the mega clover can't proc, then it's not as strong. Everything has to insta proc. 
I was considering this, but that's 10 mana that's you're taking away from the mana orb. And this is definitely going to be able to insta proc. Unless you're able to generate 40 mana right off the gate, probably shouldn't get this. Are we able to generate 40 mana right off the I don't think so. I mean, technically we we are, right? But we would be relying on the buffs from the mana orb plus a mega clover to give us mana for this to proc instantly. I, I just think it's too much risk. Potentially too much risk. I mean, this can proc, but you will be you will be left up to the mana clover in order to uh, give you more mana. But then again, you're getting mana from the mana orb. But then again, this gives up two slots, which we're at 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So we're at the perfect 27 amount that we need anyway. So slot wise, we probably can't get rid of any clovers. The only thing we could get rid of is the cap of discomfort this is the the loosest item the cap pro and probably the acorn collar but i think i'd rather have a cap of discomfort versus a glowing crown honestly daggers with no hammer just a villain sword so boom we insta proc everything again i love this build and we were only left with three mana so even then that uh that guy was not going to be worth it and doing 100 damage right off the gate on a critical he died in three hits he died in three hits three hits a 2.8 round jesus 166 critical oh my god villain sword stood no chance no chance no chance at all sub three of rapier is crazy bro i'm telling this i think this is the best rapier build out honestly I think this is the best one. Everything just works very perfectly together. Like you're getting the spikes from the stones, the strong stone skin potions. You're getting the mana that you need from the moon shield. Um, plus the combination of, you know, stone armor plus stone helmet. That helps your mana orb to insta proc. Plus all the clovers helps this to insta proc. And then the extra buffs that you get from both of those just helps the Dijon lamp proc. Um, and yeah, like... Honestly, that's that's really all that there is to it. Now, what you could do to make it a little bit better is try to make the Dijon proc twice, which is very possible. You would need more spikes, which pretty much means you would have to have uh, more upgraded strong stone skin potions. And that's your spike generation right there. Um, for the clovers. That's a little bit harder. It's a lot harder, actually. You would probably have to just not rock the cap of discomfort because you only need two more. So not rocking the cap of discomfort, pretty much two more slots for the clovers. Um, and then for the mana, maybe not even rock the mana orb just so you can get that mana. That or, I mean, since you're going to have more upgraded stone skin potions, which means you're going to have more armor, which means you generate more mana from the moon shield anyways could also be a possibility um but that's the only way to make this better is just to have the dj lint proc twice that's the only way i could see this being better which i believe here it only procced once no it actually did proc twice it procced one time here and then procced another time down here so it actually didn't manage to proc twice never mind this is the best build this is the best build.